What's up, everyone? I am at train right now, finishing up my last few sets of power pain. I have a super, um, super light um, weight session today, so I thought you guys could join me, and I'll talk to you guys in between my reps. So get your questions ready. Let me knock out this first set, and then ask your question. And don't break my floor. Let me be lazy. So I'm doing like 133 pounds. I am not still in London. I am in um, Louisiana. <laughs> I'm out of breath for those lightweights. <sighs> oh my gosh. Drama, drama from hosting. People, a few people are hating on my hosting skills. <sighs> Why do people always do that? When you have success, they always try to knock you for your promotion. And I'm telling people on Twitter, you can have yours without putting else, without putting someone else down. So, crock pot, crock pot asks, what's my motivation? <sighs> I'm actually struggling quite a bit with my motivation right now. Uh, I've had some gnarly injuries. Look, insane. This knee injury. All right, I'll come clean. I was in a car accident and I hit my knee on the dashboard and it set my season back by a ton. Like, I'm low key every day wondering if I have enough time to make it back in time for USA Championships. There's times where I have a lot of doubts and fears and they're so overwhelming and every day I just come out here and grind even though the odds look against me. Let's get this next set in and then I'll tell you more. But yeah. Super lightweight. <gasps> lightweight is sometimes harder than heavier weight. Someone asked if I would do another challenge again MTV the challenge this last challenge they had to was it 50 miles or something nah wait they pay a million okay put sign me up Tara yo house track girl low-key I'm embarrassed that I'm so out of shape okay so back to my injury car accident and that's probably that's why I disappeared off of social media for a bit because I had a torn hamstring and I was like oh I'll come back from that no problem and then when I had that I was like there was at one point being a hundred percent honest with you guys I thought I was gonna have to retire I thought there was a they had a name they drained my knee and the, the doctor's like I'm not gonna lie to you he said that you might need surgery and if I needed surgery I knew that I, I was gonna have to retire because the next Olympics are in 16 months this, that's too hard to come back from. Um, what other questions we have? Dude, I am so out of... Tiffany's laughing at me because... I don't know if she's laughing at me because I'm out of shape or what. Okay, how many of you guys think that I can make it back in time for USA's? Let's see it. Yeah, no surgery. Thanks. Someone has it, my same name, Lolo, I see you on here. I'm rocking the Noble. Yeah, I'm actually, I've tried, I'm trying out their shoes, changing it up. So, their shoes are kind of, these are sick though. I like the design of them. Um, I was wondering how they would hold up with weights, but I'm not sponsored by them. I just want to try them out. So, let's do this other set. Any workout questions? Trust me. But the good news about being hurt is you go on a lot of dates. So many dates. Um, but I don't talk about that. You know my alter ego talks about all of my dates. Chuck, I see you. We got a Christian in the house talking about God's grace is with us. Amen to that because I honestly thought I was so beat down and I was really frustrated. 
And I thought, you know when you're just like, God, this is too much? And the moment I thought it was too much, then I had an open door. Ooh, Will asked if I'm going to do chin-ups. I'm not, but I will do some chin-ups because I am bad ass in chin-ups or pull-ups. Not chin-ups, but pull-ups, you know. I do the girl ones, though. All right, let me get my last set in. Keep these questions. Uh, This bandana I wear, I have all different colors. Super cheap, Amazon, you get a 12-pack. It's not a specific brand. I'm just cheap. and then I'll you guys start placing your bets for how many uh, pull-ups you think I can do thanks for the compliments on MTV guys yeah I don't know why that girl Jen Jen Jebba some girl was hating on me I called her out on Twitter though clap back season I was like girl okay she did like four tweets. Three of them were about me. I was like, one subtweet I'm cool with, but you got four on me, homie? Or three, girl? Back the, you don't know me. <laughs> Ooh, these are a lot of pull ups. 32, 35, y'all are tripping. Tripping. I cannot do that many pull ups. I haven't done pull ups in a minute. I normally average. 15 to 18, so I haven't done it in a while, I'm going to guess, I don't know, after doing power cleans, 12, who knows, 20, Bianca said 25, God is my clap bag, Barry, I see you, I waited on it, but then I'm also human and I sin, so I was like, nah, let me go ahead and do this clap bag, fight it, I couldn't fight it, <laughs> you know. I'm a Christian, but I'm a sinning Christian, aren't we all? All right, let me do these pull-ups. I'm actually really thirsty, but my water bottle is holding up the phone. I don't want to turn around. You guys will see my butt shot. I get too many guys that hit me up already. My favorite thing to do in training is not train. <laughs> this life is hard. I'm pretty much done, guys. Let me rack these weights, and then I'll, I'll show you guys the track real quick. Answer more questions. I didn't want to do... I know I, I copped out on you guys on the... I don't know. Let me hear from a girl. The problem is, if I do the chin-ups, you guys are basically getting a butt shot. So girls, let me know. Can I pass on this or not? Or is it like muscular? Who knows? dead right now so the pros are going earlier but since I'm injured oh you got some girls they're saying I'm fine I can do it I'll just pull my shorts yeah I had a few that said pass let's try it out dang it water bottle stay okay I'll go for like 15 
because I did power cleans. How many was that? I lost count. <laughs> I don't even know how many that was. Damn, eight. Way off. Never do those after power cleans. That is not smart. Okay. So, finish it up at the track. No one's here. I'm at LSU. That's where I train every day. That's the goal. To be able to get my knee to hurdle again. I really miss running, miss ra racing. I'm frustrated, but I want to encourage anybody who is whatever. They feel like the odds are like too much to overcome. Because right now, the odds are really against me. I'm at the end of my career. I'm an older athlete. People don't believe in me. I get a lot of haters. Um, on top of the fact that I, every athlete has their own doubts and fears already. So it's just this whole storm. And sometimes so much anxiety can just weigh on me at night. Um, and I just have to trust the process. So right now the process is I can only do rehab. I can only do weights. I can do some running. I, it might be a hard press to run USA championships. It's not counted out yet, but I'm working every day focused. That's why I took a social media break to just really get back. I'm going to throw everything I have at this. And if, it, if I come up short, it's not going to be, that's not shame. There's no shame if you come up short or if you can't achieve your dreams. What shame is giving up. So I just want to encourage everybody, if you're fighting for something and you feel frustrated, you feel stuck, keep fighting. Like when you lay your head down at night, there's pride and honor in doing a, a, a good job and with what the capabilities you have so just keep working for for what you want all odds against you f the haters you got this any other questions before i head out mm -hmm. someone said they're tired of fighting yeah it goes in waves it can be frustrating sometimes any more tv gigs Right now I'm taking a break. I had a lot of TV stuff this year. Big Brother, The Challenge. The next TV thing I wanna be on is just a straight up track meet. That's it. And those don't even get a lot of viewerships. Like, I'm not trying to hate on track, my sport, but NBC and, you know, CBS, MTV, those, those are all better, you know, viewership and fame. But I, I don't want that. Like, I just wanna be an athlete. I wanna fin finish what I started and God gave me this talent and I'm going to suck every last drop out of this body that I can. Look, if Abraham's wife can have a kid at 90, I can run a hurdle race at 36. Dang, did, did I just say my age? Yeah, I sure did. Your girl is 36, but on my Tinder, my Tinder is 27. Thank you. All right, guys, I'm heading out. Have a blessed day. Bye.